What's going on guys, RDZ Michael here bringing you another Elgato Game Capture HD tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys exactly how the flashback recording in the Elgato software works. First of all, first off, what you guys want to do is come check this little gear icon right here. Make sure you guys have a flashback recording enabled by checking that box. I already have it enabled so let's move on. Now I've already pre-recorded a game of one in the chamber you guys can see here I go back and where's it at? Here's the game itself. It's in here. It's about four and a half minutes back. All right. Uh, beginnings when I turn on PS3. Basically, what it does, flashback. It's recording without you actually having to record. So basically, I don't have this button pressed. I don't. I'm not recording, right? What it does is you can go back in time, such as this right here, and I can go back to the point at which the game started. So, but there's one thing uh, you notice how it's still running right now on this uh, public match screen, and it's still collecting time, still collecting 12 minutes. So if I go back to if I go back four and a half minutes or five minutes now, if I go back here, and basically how to flashback recording is you click start recording, and it'll go back to live, and you just stop. What it does is it recorded from that point point at which I took it back up until whatever it was recording right now and if you wait a long time let's say like I wanted to record the beginning of my when I or well, I can't anymore it restarts the flashback recording once you do that so make sure you guys right after a game you guys go back and get the recording that you guys want so now that I've recorded from flashback recording let's go over here and I didn't mean to name it uh, Valentine's gameplay let's call this uh, Tutorial. All right, and basically what's done is it's gone back and it's uh, recorded the game that I just played, right? Including when I got out of the lobby, up until when I was just sitting in there, like I said. So basically, what you guys want to do is you're gonna come here, let's say, to the end of the game. See, right there at the end of the game, you guys want to cut it here and just delete that. And you have your and you have your gameplay that you just played. So let's see, I have any of my gameplay that I recorded right there. All of this going in. And that's basically how flashback recording works. Uh, when you do uh, go back and get your recording it resets the timer it resets uh, what it's been recording so let's say you've been playing for 20 minutes and you want to get a game back from um, back from when five minutes when you first started recording uh, what you guys want to do is come over here and let me put this all back let me put the original video back all right here's the entire video so let's say I only want let's say I had after this game I had another game over here so what you want to do is you want to split it uh, using this um, the, the scissor tool, the cut tool, and right click or left click on that first, then right click, and then new video from timeline selection, which means it'll make it into a whole separate video. You see it over here, it makes it into a clip. It's not really a clip, you can rename it down here. Uh, let's see, let's say I want to name that one gameplay one, and then it comes over here and it still has the rest of the recording. From, it still has your selection that you had there and you can delete that now and let's say this whole other part was another gameplay you could save that one as uh, gameplay 2 if you wanted so let's go ahead and name it that gameplay 2 and that pretty much does everything for flashback recording if you guys have any questions or uh, need any other help go ahead and comment down in the comment section below I'd be more than happy to help you guys uh, thanks for watching if you like uh, if you this video was helpful to you guys go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new. This has been RDZ Michael. I'm out.